Now that we saw dynamic pose, we want to see facial expressions. If you want to express something in your illustration, you certainly want to express the feelings of the characters. So for that, we're going to use facial expression to make them play their parts in a more accurate way. For this, you can use the tip of animation artist. Sometimes they use a mirror to play the part themselves and see how it works with their face. Or you can also use character design sheets as references. It's always interesting. I show you in this book. Here, this is a character design sheet from Cory Loftus for Zootopia. And you can see how he practice with several facial expressions with the same character. The faces squishes and stretches depending on the feeling you want to express. Here, this is another example with a character from Ratatouille. This is another animal, but as we are putting a human facial expression on an animal, it would work the same. Now we will practice with some basic expressions. We will start with a quiet, smiling character. If you're not sure how the face reacts when you smile, you can check with the mirror. This part is a little bit squishy. The cheek is round. Here we can see that the flesh is pulled away on the side. I think here I go a little bit too big for the eyes. Because the bottom of the eye will be a little bit hidden with the chic. Our bunny is really smiling. Here we can feel the cheek as well. Also the position of the neck and the shoulder can have some expression. With the animal characters, you have some extra possibilities to express some feelings because of the hair and the tail. Here I take my eraser and I will clean it a little bit.
So now we're going to try a sad rabbit. So here our character is sad. So he's looking down. With sadness, the eyebrows are taking a particular shape. And as I mentioned before, the ear will be helpful to express that feeling. Also, the shoulders helps to express this. I clean a little bit my sketch. Here, even if our rabbit has some cheek, it's not push up with a smile. The mouth corner goes downside. When you draw a facial expression, it can be useful to roll the part by yourself. For example, by drawing a surprised bunny, I may lift my eyebrow by mimetics, and it will help me to feel how my face work with this expression. I can see that my mouth is opening a little bit. We can see here that he's turning his head suddenly because he heard something. On this surprise expression, the eyes are wide open. And the face can be a little bit stretched because of the open mouth. Here, by playing the part of the rabbit, I can feel that if he heard something, he just turned that way. By imitating your character, you will have the more accurate position and facial expression. Now we try your last one, yawning. So once again, you can imitate your character feeling how it works. You will have close eyes with the eyebrow, which are pretty up and the mouth, obviously wide open.
The cheek here looks way more flat because it's stretched by the wide open mouth. Also, I can't refer to myself because my hair won't move as I yawning, but I think on a rabbit, perhaps it goes behind. I think the shoulder here must be a little bit left. Also, it's a polite rabbit. I'm not really happy with this one, so I'm going to try once again, just next to it. The head will be a little more tilted. Here we have the feeling of an actual yawning, I think. As you can see, you will need to practice and try several times before the actual illustration. In the next lesson, we will see how to find inspiration and create the perfect scene for your illustration.